All right, cube of a sum, cube of a difference. Number three, and in fact, these ones are gonna go quite quickly. I'm not even going to um, prove them. I'm just gonna state them for you, partly because these two I'm about to show you are on the reference sheet. Okay, so instead of the cube of a sum, I'm gonna do the sum of cubes. Okay, think about what the words mean. This means you've got two cubes and you're adding them together. So here is the sum of cubes. Now, some of you, if you've got extraordinary memory, should remember this from year 10. Does anyone remember it? Any takers? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, what do you reckon? Very good, good start. A squared plus 2AB. I'm gonna write the, oh, now hold on, let's pause for a second. Oh, yeah. I've got written here this one, okay? Now I use this to help me because the next term is not 2AB. The way I remember it is that 2AB comes from here and that's quite a different thing. There's something very slightly different that comes next. Anyone? Yeah. There's a minus and then it's not 2AB, it's just, just 1AB, okay? Just one of them. And then you've got the B squared on the end. That is the sum of cubes, like I said, you have this on your reference sheet, and right below it, you have the difference of cubes. Just like before, instead of adding, you're going to subtract. And I'm going to show you what the factorization is, and then I'm going to ask that same question I asked before. What do you notice? What do you notice? Have a look. So you remember how we went from um, cube of a sum to cube of a difference? You remember that? And all the terms were pretty much identical, but what changed was the operations, yeah? Have a look at these two. Do you notice all the, the terms are the same, but what's changed is the op operations. Okay, and then have a look at those operations. What do you notice about the operations? See these two? These two have swapped. These two? Also swapped. What about that last one? Same. Still the same. Okay. Now I've just um, pointed out. This is the third time I'm pointing it out. Now, can you get them? I'm trying to remember. Get you to remember this. These are on the reference sheet. However, some unlucky people in the past didn't get a reference sheet, so we had to remember this whole thing off by heart. The hardest part of this was the science, getting them in the right order. So we learned an acronym to help us remember the order of the signs. Who's seen this before? Yeah, okay, a few of you. All right, so for most of you who haven't, SOAP stands for, do you want to tell us? Same, opposite, or which positive? Same, opposite, Same. always, whoops, why is that there? Positive. positive. Now, I wonder, as you look at the two results, if you can see the same opposite, always positive. Sum of cubes. The first sign is the same, the first operation, I should say. The second one is going to be opposite. This last guy, he doesn't care. He's always going to be a plus, okay? Now, the reason why I'm pointing that out now, even though you do have a reference sheet, is because if you have to search for this result on the reference sheet, what does it cost you? Time. Time, okay? And with a bit of familiarity, you'll get to this. It's okay, it's not as bad as it looks, even though it's a bit intimidating right now. That's because there's lots of other stuff on the board to remember as well, okay? 